Good afternoon, everyone. It is truly a pleasure to speak to you today. Thank you for everybody uh, for coming. Uh, as you know, my name is Jim Anderson, and I'm working to earn your support to become your representative in U.S. Congress in the 4th District of Kansas. It is my goal here today that you leave knowing who I am, what I stand for, and what I will pledge to work on tirelessly for you if given the opportunity to become your voice in Washington. I consider myself a man of the people who possesses the God-given gift of common sense, which is clearly absent in Washington. Like many of you, my wife and I have worked hard for what we have, never expecting a handout or any special favors, only an unobstructed chance at creating a better life for my family and leading this country a better place for our children. Also, like many of you, I have become very concerned with our country, with where our country is headed, and I believe that we are nearing a turning point in our history. Just over 230 years ago, we became a unified nation where the federal government was supposed to manage a limited number of tasks and where it was the individual who was supposed to be empowered and given the opportunity for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Founding Fathers fought vigorously so we would not be victims of a big central government over taxation. Consider the words of Thomas Jefferson. Democracy will cease to exist when you take away from those who are willing to work and give to those who would not. He also predicted future happiness for Americans if they could prevent the government from wasting the labors of the people under the pretense of taking care of them. Our founders recognized how hard liberty and freedom were to obtain, but how easily they could be lost. The founders believed in a number of key ideals that became the platform of America. The preservation of life, liberty, freedom, free markets, limited taxation, limited government with rights retained at the local levels, at the state and by the citizens, family values, and the importance of religion in maintaining a decent and respectful society. The legislation that I would support would focus on restoring these American values. Today we are faced with enormous economic and social challenges, and in many respects, they are intertwined. Despite currently seeming insurmountable, I believe that with the right leadership, they can be overcome. With respect to our economy, I see four critical areas that need immediate attention. A complete overhaul of our tax system, responsible monetary and fiscal policy, getting entitlement programs under control, free market-based healthcare education, and energy. Our current progressive tax system penalizes